Where are we going to today, Deanna? Farrington's Park in Connecticut. All right, let's go. Blaze is getting decked out today with his boots, which are really toddler socks. <laughs> Ready to go, Blaze? Okay. Well, we made it to Farrington Park today, Farrington Woods in Connecticut. It's right on the border of Connecticut and New York, so looks like a pretty cool area. It's another cold day, so we're definitely bubbled up. So it looks like the first trail that we came across is just kind of an old Jeep road that they use as a trail. I don't know if you can head down here during the summertime or how this works out. Looks like it'd be a fun road to take the truck down. If it warms up here and they open this road back up. So recently we just had about 52 degree weather, 56 degrees, something like that. And all the snow melted, but now it's back down to the 20s. So I actually had a low of six or something like that last night. So everything froze back over. But at least all the snow's gone and we can see the trail. So that's nice. So I thought coming here after all the snow melted would be a good idea, but now this is all ice. Just gotta walk slowly, Blaze. <laughs> this is what happens when the dog doesn't want to cross the frozen water. So for today's hike, we're just gonna be hiking over to a pond and just checking out this park. I doubt we'll go too far because it is pretty cold and done with this dog getting frostbite put some socks on his feet, but still not sure how good that'll hold up in these temperatures. Looks like there's a fireplace from a house out here. Obviously it used to be a house or maybe they just made a fire pit out here, not sure. It is beautiful out here though. Check out this pond. Maybe not so much beautiful I-84 in the background, but this pond is beautiful. Frozen over, mostly. Still wouldn't want to walk across it today. That trail was a dead end. <laughs> I was looking online and I couldn't really find any good maps for this park. They had some places on all trails and stuff like that, but not a terrifically marked park. So we're just gonna kind of wing it and make sure we know where we're going. At least there's not any snow so we can see the trails pretty well today. So we're only, as of today, we're only four subs away from reaching 200 subscribers. So. Thank you guys very much for liking, sharing, and commenting, and subscribing to our channel. It's very much appreciated. <laughs> so we just came from this direction, from that pond back there. Now we're going to be heading this direction. It looks like an orange or yellow trail. Let's see where that takes us. So the Beer Belly Travelers just tagged us in a challenge here recently to do our five favorite gear items, our five favorite camping gear items. So. We're gonna be making a video for that here soon. Also known as our <laughs> beer bellied buddies that we call them. <laughs> We're actually hiking past this pond that we just went back on. We didn't realize this trail ran parallel with it. This one looks like it goes back a lot further than the other one did. So Shane and I are doing Whole30 right now, which uh, is an elimination diet for 30 days where you give up pretty much everything except for meat, veggies, fruits, eggs, nuts, and seeds. And I 
uh, have a bunch of recipes on my blog that you guys could check out if you're interested. The website is theharvestskillet.com. Kind of a cool frozen creek going through here. I don't know if you can hear that water flowing, but you can actually hear the water flowing underneath the ice too. If you look over here, you can actually see the water flowing underneath the ice. Definitely not frozen enough to be walking across here right now. <laughs> So there's also a lot of bike paths through here. I think this is a primarily actually a bike park where people take their bikes, bikes along these trails. If any of you watching like hiking adventures or just adventures in general, Life Adventures with Eric and Melissa is a really cool YouTube channel you guys should go check out. They just hit 100 subs recently so they're starting to grow pretty quickly. So I'm finding one of the major disadvantages of this gimbal is in the winter time. <laughs> Just one more button to push and I have to leave my gloves off in order to push those buttons. So I think I'm going to have to buy some thinner gloves so I at least have some protection in the winter time. It is cold today. The trails we've hiked today have been pretty easy. I wouldn't even say moderate, I would just say easy. But I think there are some trails if you climb up this hill next to us over here. It can be a little bit more difficult. We did see some pictures online of like an overlook and it'd probably be perfect for these, for the leaves being off the trees and everything to be able to see a bit further. But it's just too cold today. So we're just gonna call it a day and head back. Hope you enjoyed our little hike around Farmington's Park in Connecticut. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more videos like it. You can also check us out at dnsadventures.com. And as always, adventure on. Mm -hmm.